advanced. Um, I'd actually like to ask you about a player who didn't play today, which is Pakayo Saka, um, on the news of his new contract. What kind of a symbol does it send out to what Arsenal to try, are trying to do as a club to have one of the best young prospects in English football commit to your project? Well, I think he is the player that represents every value that this football club stands for. Um, he's coming through the academy. Big credit to everybody that has been involved in, in the process of developing the player and the person that um, he is today is coming to my hands, our hands, really mature, really focused and uh, really well developed in, in his knowledge about what he needs to do in the game. And um, it was really important for me to keep him. I have big belief in him. And from now on, I will demand him more because uh, he can give us more and more, hopefully, in the future. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Mikael. Um, it was a performance you would probably been very happy with before the lockdown. After the lockdown, we saw a stuttering return, and then obviously the wins have started to come. Is this what you're looking to do in the Premier League? Obviously, us now, we can hear your instructions, multilingual instructions. Were your players responding as you wanted to? And is this philosophy we expect to see from, from you now on? Yeah, it's part of the process that, um, that we have to respect and we can give them so much in, in certain moments. It's been a really difficult season since I joined with the amount of game that we had in December and then the break that we have during the lockdown. But um, they are so willing, they are completely on board of what we are trying to do. A lot of things that happened today will convince them even more that that's, this is the right direction for us to take as a team. Um, I still have to evolve in many things, the way we manage the game in certain moments. Um, we cannot give anything to the opponent and we give that again tonight. And uh, But overall, I'm really happy with the, the attitude and as well with the understanding of the game and what the game requires for them to control it and expose the opponent as much as we can. Danny Sabellos is central to your uh, game today. He, he had an influential uh, role throughout. Um, how far is he from committing to Arsenal? Is that a conversation for much later? Or can you can you do something before with Real Madrid? Uh, both clubs, they've been in, in communication. Um, I really like Danny, what he brings um, to the team. Again, when I joined, he wasn't available because he had a difficult injury, but he's understanding what we are trying to do really, really nicely. He has big personality to play, take the ball in, in any area on the field and give the continuity that we need as a team as well to control the games better, but as well without the ball. You know, the running he's putting in, the tackles, every time the interceptions, he's decided to win that ball back and help the team. He's improved so much and he looks uh, a really good player at the moment. Thank you, Mikel. Thanks. Nick Callow, Nick. Hi, Mikel. Um, a couple of quick ones. You said in the pre-match that Cedric was possibly the best attacking fullback at the club. Is that what you expected him to do? Come on and score a goal like that? Yeah, I said in the final third he has uh, probably the best end product of the fullback that we have. It's one of the main qualities that uh, that he has. He showed that tonight as well, the way he can finish. Um, I'm so happy for the boy. He's uh, brought uh, great energy and, and a lot of positivity to the group since he joined even though it's been really difficult for him with injuries and the fracture that he had in his nose and everything. So glad for him. He made his debut, he scored the goal, and we got the three points. So perfect night for him. And, and just on uh, Oba, um, there's been a lot of speculation about him. He's beaten Thierry Henry to 50 goals for Arsenal. How many can he get for the club? How long can he go on scoring? Hopefully at least another 100, but uh, I don't know why not uh, a magician. Um, what, is, what he's achieved today to be the first to score 50, the, the history of this football club tells everything about his mentality and the, the way he works every day on his finishing, on trying to help the team. And uh, he decided to be better and better every day. So hopefully we can keep him here for, for a longer period. Thank you. Thank you. Ian Bolton, Ian. Uh, yeah, uh, Mikhail, just to, to pick up on um, Pierre, Emrick Aubameyang, I mean, just, just how talented a striker is he and and how important is he for the club? Well, a player that is able to score as many goals as he's done in, in that short space of time tells you everything about the importance that he has for us. We need players that uh, can make the difference in any moment in the game. 
every three days in different competition, and that's a big task to us. We've done that at different clubs. He's willing to stay with us. I think he's really happy where he is. He can see what we are trying to do. And hopefully he can evolve as well some part of his game that, in my opinion, um, he can improve. And we are pushing him every day towards that. And just on Granite Jacker as well, if I may, who also scored. Uh, he finished with the captain's armband um, after the difficulties that he had earlier in the season. Do you feel that he's come full circle now? Absolutely. He's a player that his commitment goes behind anything normal. He leaves every drop of blood in that football pitch every day, and he does the same in training. For me, it's a great example to any other team, uh, teammate that the way he looks after himself and leaves this profession, and I am really happy that um, we could convince him to stay, give him another opportunity, learn from the mistake that he made, and as well appreciate the player and the person that we have at the club, and and support them. That when someone has a difficult moment, we are right behind them. And between everybody, we can give him another chance. Thank you, Mikhail. Thank you. Mark Man Bryan. Hi there, Mikhail. Um, obviously, Mesut was missing again tonight with, with this back soreness, but we, we saw again that Matteo didn't make the squad. Um, what, what Could you just explain a bit about why he's not in the squad at the moment and what he has to do to, to get back in? For the same reasons as last week, but obviously that's I think that's three games now. He's not he's not even been on the bench. So, have you spoke to him? Is he is he is he not showing what you want to see in training, or is, is what does he have to change to change your mind? Well, things have to change, and nothing is changed. Thank you. Last one, Charles. Charles what? Hi, Mikhail. Can I just um just ask about Orba? He was just speaking. The sky, I think, after the game, saying, and he said, "We'll see about my contract." You've obviously got Saka done before the end of the season. What, are you expecting all but anything to happen before the end of the season, or will it? You're going to have to wait for the summer for that one. I don't know. I leave that to the football club and the senior people that um, drive those type of contracts. And um, Oba knows really well what my thoughts are towards him and the project that I want to create and how much. He's part of that, and after that, it's, it's not in my hands. Just you, like, like, about a week ago, you were pretty confident on Saka. You said it would happen very shortly. It, it, it's because I knew. <laughs> yeah, so it's presum presumably always still quite a long way to go before we get to that point. I don't know. I am positive, and I will remain positive that um, we can um, keep him here for, for many years. But um, things have to progress. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, everybody. Um, Norwich will be in here very shortly, so we'll keep the line open and we'll keep my view tomorrow night at okay. our press conference. Thank you. See you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Cheers, Nicole.